Kujambo na karibu tena mtazamaji wa Manara TV moja kwa moja kutoka ubalozi wa Miswi ambao upo hapa Tanzania katika maeneo ya posta na moja kwa moja tumemfuata balozi ambaye tunafahamu mengi sana kutoka kwake e, pale timu kutoka Miswi zinapokuja Tanzania kucheza na timu zetu na hususan katika miaka ya hivi karibuni tumeweza kuishuhudia Al Ahly ikija hapa kwa takriban si mara tatu mpaka mara nne na tumeweza kushuhudia balozi akiwa pale ana nini hasa cha kutuambia siku ya leo jina langu ni Pablo Almas na nyuma ya kamera amani ndimo na hii ni Manara TV moja kwa moja kutoka ubalozini sir a wonderful evening good evening sir good evening to you and to your uh, viewers <laughs> thank you so much uh, sir uh, we are very happy and pleased to have this chance being here today i know it's been a long time since we have been looking for this chance True. thank you for the welcome Thank you for taking the time to uh, give me this space and yes. uh, to give me uh, the chance to speak to your viewers. Yes. And I am happy that we can finally uh, schedule this uh, interview. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, you have been in Tanzania now as an ambassador from Egypt. Uh, it's almost one year and three months. True. And as we all know, we footballers, we have been seeing you regularly nowadays. Uh, <laughs> mostly when the, the club from from Egypt comes mm -hmm. here uh, in Tanzania. As yourself first, let's speak about it. How do you feel engaging yourself with football? Well, I'm very happy because I had the chance to receive uh, four times Egyptian teams to come to play football in Tanzania. Yeah. And you know, it's always uh, good vibes and uh, good times because uh, Tanzania is very hospitable, to be honest. Yeah. And the people of Tanzania are very warm and uh, they are very affectionate towards Egyptians. Uh, of course, in sports, we understand there's competition. Sure. But at the end of the day, there's always this, you know, a uh, nice atmosphere of welcoming the teams, yeah. welcoming the Egyptian players to be here. And all the players, when they are here, they are happy. Yeah. They feel they are really in their second home. Yes. So I'm always happy to see that happen because I am here to build the bridges. I am here to make deeper contacts and uh, engagements with both our countries. We enjoy great relations and it's going forward all the yes. time. And with sports also, it's uh, engaging in a positive way. So I'm very happy for that. That's wonderful. Um, directly, let's go to Al Ahal. Uh, I think last game against Young Africans, they had a draw here in Tanzania. And as for now, we speak one day mm -hmm. before the final matches to complete the six matches in the group stage uh, for young Africans and Al Ahal. Uh, what can you say about this? We have seen the first leg was very, very hard for the both sides to get the three points. And tomorrow they are going to conclude the stage. Al Ahal looking for the first place, young Africans the same looking for the first place. On your side, as an ambassador, not as a fan of Al Ahal <laughs> or a fan of from Egypt. Let's speak as an ambassador who you live here in Tanzania, but your heart as the club is in Egypt. Let me first say congratulations to Yanga and their fans because they are moving forwards to the higher yes. level in the competition. Yes. So whether it's the first in the group, whether it's the second, they are moving forward. Yes. And this is the main thing in this level of competition for now. Sure. So both teams are moving forward, whether first or second. And this, you know, relieves pressure. So I'm looking forward to a good match. You know the results from before? Yeah, yeah. I, I call it, this is the diplomatic result. Yes. You know, no one wins, no one loses, everyone is happy. So <laughs> this time, what I'm looking forward to see is a strong match between two strong teams yeah. that are very, very, very popular, both in their countries yes. and within the African continent. Yes. Yanga is quite famous, Al Ahli is quite famous. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to a match that reflects these uh, the values of these two great uh, clubs. How do you read the, the game, uh, the tomorrow's game, in maybe 1 to 10? You know, how much do you give Young and how much do you give Al Ahal for the winning? <sighs> that's, that's a difficult question that's because, hard. you know, I do not know what is happening yeah. in the teams. Yes. I do not know the ideas of the coaches. I do not know what is happening. Yes. But what I do know, and maybe out of experience, out of cheering football for a long time, the results always is in the pitch. Sure. What the players do yes. on the pitch, it's 11 against 11. So, and we're talking about the highest quality sure. of players. Yeah. 
what they do and how they uh, follow through the coaches' uh, like uh, instructions. Yes. This is depends on the the, the results. This is what the results is all about. Sure. Do your duty, follow the instructions of your good uh, coach, and the result will come. As you said earlier, that um, Young Africans becomes the famous club each day uh, after the good performance and good quality from their players. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very difficult for Tanzanian players to play in Egypt due to their performance. As days keep going on and years and seasons, do you think is there a chance from a Tanzanian player, not only from Yanga, maybe Simba Azam, to have a chance and go to play for the Egypt, any team? We, there are so many teams there, Zamalek, Al Ahal, uh, and then MPP. So, do you think is there a chance for a Tanzanian player to play for Egypt? Well, first of all, I do know for a fact that we had maybe one or two Tanzanian players yeah. in the Egyptian league. I'm not sure so of the teams. Has there been only one? Uh, I, I am. He, I am not sure, but I know that we had some Tanzanian players. Yeah, sure. But what we need yeah. is, you know, um, the chance for the other teams, not only Al Ahly and Zamalek, who come to play here. Yeah but other teams to see the quality of players that are here. Sure. You know, you should have a display. Sure. And participating in such events and champions, yes. this, this is the display, this is the window yes. where the talent shows itself. Whether they get offers to go to Egypt or maybe other places, maybe to Europe even, yes. this is what they expose themselves to uh, the spectators and the ones who are following the matches. Yes. Um, sir, yeah. Sorry about this question, but um, we don't remember the last time Al Hal came in Tanzania and, and have the all three points. It just seems like Tanzanian football have developed from the players, technical bench, the staff in general. Because the last two games with with Simba, it was draw. Hmm. The last one in African, there were two two. Young Africans, uh, nil one one. So what does this possess to our football? I, I tell you, this is diplomatic results. <laughs> <laughs> but you can say something about this because I don't know. Uh, you know, I, believe me, wait, I, I, sir, you are um, asking me a question yeah. I cannot answer. No, but, uh, it, it has an answer because a few years back, mm -hmm. a Tanzanian footballer or a Tanzanian, uh, I don't know how to say about this, but when he is that Al Al or Zamalek or any club from uh, Egypt comes to play here in Tanzania, he is afraid because we all know that Al Al is in top, very very top. So we always know that. If Al Ahal comes in Tanzania, he will have all the three points. But things keep changing day by day. Two games, draw. Oh. Last game against Young Africans, draw. So tell us about this. Our football, has it increased or Al Ahal has decreased due to the no, performance? No, no, no. We are sure and definite that the level of Tanzanian football has developed yeah. tremendously. Yes. Maybe in the last two, three years. We have seen last year you had finals in the two African champions sure. uh, championships. Yeah. That this is an indicator. No one can see or say otherwise. Yeah. So of course Tanzanian football is improving. Uh, El Ahli uh, deteriorating maybe. Maybe I can say also it maybe. might happen. Yeah. But look at what is happening to El Ahli. El Ahli different from any other club. They play maybe twice as much in a year sure. matches sure. as compared to other teams because they represent Africa in maybe the World, World Cup, Cup of, uh, of teams. Clubs, yes, yes. They played good matches. I'm not sure how it was followed here, but they had good results. They yeah. came third. Yeah. And this sure. is a representation for all of Africa. Yes. And this is extremely, extremely tough competition. Yes. So the, the players, sometimes you have to give them the excuse that they are exhausted. They travel all the time. And traveling, oh, of course, fatigue, you know? of course, it yeah. gives pressure and load sure. on the body. Sure. So we have to understand that it is not always green for them to be always winning and champions. And this is what sports is all about. Sure. You win one day, you lose the other. And it gives you a motive to be better so that you improve and you become better. And you keep on, like, you know, as they say, it's easy to reach the top. But to maintain this top, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's more the, that's, that is <laughs> yes, a challenge. That's something else. Yeah. Um, it's, as you said, it's not that much easy to maintain being the top. Uh, as we know, Al Ahal has been a great team all over to five to six consecutive years. Uh, 
on your side now mm. as an ambassador, Sir Ismail, tell us, how do you feel yourself when you hear that Al Ahal comes in Tanzania playing from here to Posta? To your place <laughs> there to the airport welcoming the club playing against our clubs here in tanzania on your side how do you feel seeing you out i home? am happy i am happy because in the streets i see you know this interaction happening you know strangely enough we have yes egyptian teams coming to play here yeah but i find they have a base a fan base here yes. Yeah. And I see them, they, they come to cheer this team, whether it's Zamalek, whether it's Ahli, whether it's Future, even when they come. And it's nice. I like, I, I enjoy this. Yes. You know, this gives you a positive feeling that what the real message of sports is sure. doing, it is happening on the ground. Sure. Of course, there are others who wish their own team to win. But at the end of the day, you know, sportsmanship is the winner. So relations are always good. I'm always happy to have teams coming here because out of experience, I, I tell you, I received four times Egyptian yeah. teams. Yeah, yeah, I know. And I know. all the four times, they were uh, good experiences. <laughs> so I'm happy for that. You're happy for that. And tell us about the condition now when it happens, when Al-Ahal lose the matches. Escorting <laughs> them back to the airport. How is it? Uh, it never happened. I, yeah, I, 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 never. For me, I never had to uh, <laughs> yes. escort them back. Mm -hmm. Neither winning yeah, nor losing. No so, losing. It's, so a draw, it's, a, it's uh, a good thing for them. I tell you, it's the most diplomatic result. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, we also want to know, uh, mm. in 2027, Tanzania is among the national teams that will uh, contain the AFCON. Of course. For the first time in our history, mm -hmm. the East African teams like... Uh, Tanzania, Kenya, and Uganda. We know, uh, as we all know, Egypt is among the topiest teams that have been doing great all over the... Every year, like, every Afghan will be participating. Mm. On your side, tell us, uh, you yourself, maybe, inshallah, people say that you'll be here in Tanzania and you'll witness that. How are you going to welcome the national team for the first time, uh, playing to a homeland against, maybe again, with our country, Tanzania? Okay, I first of all congratulate Tanzania, of course, on hosting AFCON in 2027. I'm Thank sure so that much. they will do a great, uh, preparations. A great uh, preparations and yeah. it will be a great uh, event. Sure. And regarding Egypt's participation, you know, it is, it is up to the players again. You know, they have to do their job first to reach the finals. Sure. Because we just came out the competition of AFCON in... Uh, Ivory Coast. Nobody believed that. You know, yeah. Egypt were out from the yeah. round of 16. No, nobody believed that. So they, so they have to do their mm. duty, you know. That's, yeah. uh, there's a homework to be done. Sure. And football and soccer in, in the continent has become very competitive. Very competitive. You cannot rely on history. You cannot rely on, like, your name as before. It is what you do. Sure. This is an effort that you have to exert and you have to win it because you did what is right. You studied the other teams, you prepared well, you have a good squad, you have good talents. So it's, it's a formula. I cannot sit here and tell you, oh, when Egypt comes in 2027. I cannot say that. Sure. I wish Egypt to be here in 2027. I will be very happy. Yes. And if I'm still here, I don't yeah. know yet. Because we, uh, we, we in my, line of, in my um, line of business, yes. I don't know yes. what my country and, would and, request. And on our side, we pray for you to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Very well, so, uh, <laughs> um, also... As we know, the competition of the Champions League in mm -hmm. Africa is all about end the six matches. Do you wish to see again Al Ahal playing for the quarter final among our teams? Like we know, the people say there's much possibility for Al Ahal to meet again Simba at the quarter final. It could be Simba in the quarter final. It could be Young again in the final. I don't know, but for me, out of experience, yes, I would love to see this match happening. Yes, because as I tell you, I I get positive energy from the interaction I see when Al Ahli is here. Yeah. And I have seen that they have a good fan base. Yes. I have seen how they are being welcomed here. I see all the good preparations being done. So I would be happy, of course, if they come to play here. But let's congratulate first our teams on reaching the finals. That, Thank you that so would much. be the better uh, option. The president of Young Africans, Engineer Hersai, today himself, he committed that on his side, he mm -hmm. thinks that this final of 2024, maybe it's Al Ahal and Mamelodi. People ask themselves, is it that young Africans don't have that quality to reach the final? Because you are predicting. No, it's, it's uh, just being humble. Uh, <laughs> it's just being humble. I, uh, I think, you know, sometimes yes. uh, 
some some uh, expressions are made yeah, sure. just to give the extra motive to the players. Yeah. And maybe yeah. he's playing psychological Psychology. with his team. So maybe. for the players to fight more. Uh, probably. Uh, uh, probably. Okay. I, I would assume I would assume this is the case. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on your side your predictions for the final? I, Fine, let's talk about the final. Uh, I cannot predict. Ah, I cannot can, predict. You cannot predict. I can wish the best for both our teams. I mean, Al Ahli is the Egyptian representatives in the championship now, yes. and you have both Simba and Yanga. So I wish the best for your teams, and I wish the best for my team. And at the end, I wish for all of Africa to enjoy a good level of uh, competition. Yes. Tanzanian football, have you ever had a day maybe to the stadium just watching our football? Despite this, Al Ahala and other things. Yeah, to be honest, I did not see, until now have the chance to be in the stadium. Yes. But I have been here maybe two times. Two times. When you had the mega clash of Yanga and Simba, I did yes. not attend in, in the stadium. I wish to do so uh, yes. next time, maybe inshallah. Amen. But I have been here to live the you know the emotions, the the preparations, how the two fan bases are you know at. Uh, preparing and at odds with each other just yeah. to push forward their players. It's good atmosphere. And we have the same also with Ahli and Zamalek. When they play, it's a, it's a special day. Uh, maybe you don't know about this. People say that um, there are so many places, so many ambassadors, but you are among the first year ambassadors going at the airport welcoming your club. Have you ever heard about this story, maybe? I didn't hear about yes. it. and. Okay. Uh, I am sure, I am sure if the other ambassadors, they yes. get the same feedback as I do get when I have and received my teams, yes. especially from uh, the good Tanzanian uh, reception that we see, yes. I am sure they will follow the same suit. How do you feel being here in Tanzania? How do you see our people? How do you see our culture so far? I say it in all honesty. I am in my second home. You are just second home. This is my second home, and the people here are very warm, very affectionate, very welcoming. And I, I am really happy to be here among the Tanzanian brothers and sisters. What about our Swahili language? Of course, you know, it's much difficult. It's, I don't have much time to oh, yeah, yeah. spend on learning, but yeah. I try to pick up words yes. because, you know, when you feel this affection, I, I want to reciprocate. Yes. I want to show this. I have the same warmth towards uh, the host nation here. Yes. I'm starting, but finding the time to commit and study and uh, you know uh, learn a new language at my age, it's a bit challenging, but I am taking steps in it. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much. Santeli <laughs> Sana. <laughs> yes, Mtazamaji wa Marana TV. Well, I forgot something. Ramadan is is just around the corner. Inshallah. Let's speak uh, with our Tanzanian mm -hmm. people, Egyptian people. How is it much important uh, for Ramadan? You know, as we all know, it's something very important, especially to the Muslim. People. Of course. So let's congratulate first uh, all the Muslim brothers and sisters of Tanzania for uh, observing Ramadan very soon. Inshallah, it should be maybe around 10 or 11 of March. So yes. congratulations on that. It's a very special spiritual event. It's a very special month for all Muslims. Yes. And I think uh, I have witnessed here one Ramadan before. It's okay. very close and similar to what I have yes. seen back home. And it's very special. It's very, yeah, very special. You're food now. I am. Yes, <laughs> 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 I am. No, I am trying. You're I am trying. trying. You know, I want to live the whole experience. Okay. I, I love your country. I love your people. I love your culture. Yes. So I want to... Take the full, uh, full exposure and yeah. uh, learn everything possible, inshallah. Thank you so much, sir. It's been a pleasure. Thank yes. you. Yes, nikushukuru sana mtazamaji wa Manara TV. Haudia chilewa chochote kile na haudia pitwa na chochote na chochote. Kifanya ni kufungua YouTube channel, Instagram channel, pamoja na social media zizote. Iliweze kujua balozi kutoka Miswi. Hameongea nini hasa kusiana na club yake, maendeleo ya mpira wa kitanzania na kusiana na wacheza nyuetu na fasiao. Bado iko wazi kucheza katika kaligiao na yeye prediction yake utabiri wake kuelekea katika mashindano haya club bingwa ambapo kwa upande wa yanga tayari wameshafuzu je simba alhal na kuendelea niko jina langu ni Pablo Almas nyuma kamera amani limbo na hii ni Manara TV wote kwa pamoja tunakutakia siku njema